A group known as the Buhari Friends Organization Network says it supports the president in his fight against corruption in the country. The group in a press briefing in Abuja on Tuesday commended the president for the strides taken by his administration in the anti-corruption war. They also voiced their support for the recent raid on the homes of some judges by the DSS, saying that it is uh, a step in the right direction. The issue of corruption being seen in Nigeria as the cheapest means to get rich quick by public servants, politicians and governors, it has really become a serious social problem. Therefore, the only solution available is a collective fight against this common economic sabotage for all Nigerians, as Mr. President and indeed the government alone cannot do much to eradicate it. This debate culture must have to give way. Otherwise, it will take the country so much far behind the Committee of Developing Nations. Another negative development we have also noticed is the recent corruption search lights being on the judiciary. And now of government that's supposed to complement the executive in the prosecution of the vulnerable corrupt public officers who have been found wanting. Yet this arm of government has been so uncooperative for years, therefore has made most known corrupt officials, including elected leaders, to continue in the economic sabotage, even with present impunity, as the judiciary usually compromised, thus making punishment for corruption a very difficult task. It is even more alarming to hear that the Nigerian Bar Association, MBA, which rather supposed to join the government in the campaign against corruption among judicial officers, are joining issues and supporting the judiciary in their traditional position of being passive and indeed fully involved in monumental corruption with perceived culture of impunity and so-called judicial impunity or immunity. As far as we are concerned, we are indeed very supportive of the efforts of the anti-corruption agencies, especially the recent efforts and arrests carried out by the Department of the State Security Service, DSS.